Today, I will be showing you how to create some worn out leather to make your textures more realistic. Okay, so we have the project file open and it looks pretty good. So let me just disable this folder because we're going to remake it, right? And add another folder and call it Edge Worn 5. Yeah, I made this four times. <laughs> Happens when we want to do tutorials, right? First thing, we add a fill layer. We change the roughness into, well, something rough. And change the color into something like yellowish, orangish. Definitely a lot less saturated. Hmm. This looks good. Now we want to add a little bit of variation in the color. So we duplicate it by pressing Alt and left click and dragging this layer. That's how you make a duplicate. Now we change the color. I want to make this one a little less saturated as well as it being a little darker. Cool. Now we add a black mask to our top layer, then add a fill, and press on grayscale, and use a 3D Perlin Noise Fractal. Now you couldn't see much because the colors kind of look the same, so we press Alt and left click on the mask, this way you can preview it. Now that you can see what you're doing, let's increase the scale. And yeah, that's it. You don't need to like really do much. It's a little, but it does help. Now, here's the fun part. Go ahead, add a black mask into our folder. Then right click again and add paint. Now basically what we want to do is that we want to use a stencil to mask where we want to have worn leather. How we do that, we go here in the search bar and we search for Cracked. As you can see, Grunge Cracked Deep. This seems to work the best. You can experiment if you want, but yeah. Now we want to drag this texture into our stencil slot and as you can see this thing will appear you can press s and left click to rotate it while you are doing it you can also press shift to snap it into different angles and if you want to scale it you can press s and right click this way you can scale it up and down and now you simply just paint. That's it. Definitely use some reference if you're doing it. But yeah, that's the whole process. When I finish painting this whole thing, I'll be right back. See ya. Okay, as you can see, it's done, but not fully. We still have to do some other things and add some other effects to make it look realistic. So, go ahead, press on your mask, right click and add filter. Then, choose blur and blur this out. This is too high, we use a number maybe 0 0.05, looks better. Then, we want to shrink it back together by using levels. Then, play around with the sliders to get something like this. 
and then we're going to add another filter this time a warp now this warp is really going to make it look more realistic if I change the intensity to something lower like 0 0.025 you can see how much better it looks and for the last effect filter I want to add a sharpen nice now we have a problem as you can see in these parts that we have the worn leather we also have the leather pattern on it and we don't want that the way that we can fix that is going here and changing this from base color to height and when it says linear dodge change this to normal now as you can see it doesn't appear anymore so yeah nice there were some things going on here but don't worry about that now that we are almost done i want to add some height to differentiate the letter from the worn out letter the way that we do that is by adding a fill layer changing its name to maybe height then we want to alt and left click on this height channel this will isolate all the channels except the height channel now we bring this layer into our folder and then gradually pull this slider into the negatives and that's just another little minor detail that really makes it more realistic yeah that's it i'm going to make this into a community collection i don't know when that's going to be probably like in one month or something but yeah it will be free for everyone so stay tuned for that thanks for watching bye see ya